This is the uh, first full power run of the BSV 35. I uh, have it mounted different than the BSV 23. This is mounted using the standard Volkswagen mount. Instead of having a Volkswagen out front, we got the BSV 35. Uh, have wide open throttle, which is right at just below 3600 engine RPM. That seems to run quite smooth. At 1800, it's a little bit rougher. At 1600, uh, it's rougher than I like. Uh, I need to balance the prop, make sure it's in balance, and uh, I'll do some more playing with it. One of the things I noticed, uh, the temperature on the intake runners today is about 130 degrees. Hey, great, far away from possible icing. However, these were running 78 degrees and you notice there's moisture. So using this particular setup, I think a person is just waiting for the day when you get carburetor icing. I may be wrong, but I think the dual Makunis, if for nothing else, carburetor icing is going to end up being the way to go. Anyway, that's down the road. The oil temperatures, uh, I do not have an oil temperature gauge in the airplane. Uh, by shooting the temperature, the bottom of the crankcase is 149. The uh, uh, bottom of the oil filter there is about 190. It's about 178 at the, at the oil uh, filter. And back here at the oil cooler, I'm seeing about 135. So I don't foresee any real problems there because uh, once you're moving through the air, you'll get a lot more airflow over there. Uh, the EGTs and CHTs are doing real good. Temperatures on both sides seem to be about the same. So you can't ask for a whole lot more than that. And uh, I think I need to check the prop for balance as well as make sure the pitch is the same on both sides. My tiny tack, uh, I finally had to go over the insulated area here. And uh, at idle, it's not very accurate, but once you get up about mid RPM, it comes into direct line with the uh, with the other tack, the digital uh, Hall Effect tack. It seems to work quite well. Uh, we'll have to do some serious ground testing here and we'll get out there and start putting some uh, taxi tests on it. Seems like it's moving a fair amount of air and uh, we'll need to go through it and make sure everything's where it belongs. And uh, anyway, this is a BSV 35. It is a whole lot bigger. It's wider, taller, uh, heavier. The bare, bay, bare bones case without flywheel, without intake, uh, and without exhaust on this one. On the uh, BSV 23, it's 51 pounds. On this one, it's 81 pounds. So that kind of tells you where you're headed off to. Anyway, um, we want to find out how it actually performs on this airplane. And then we'll do what we got to do to see if we can make it live on there for a while. Anyway, that's where we're at. One of the things I'm discovering also when you're doing something like this, it's important to have that battery up close to your engine. Uh, on the smaller smaller engine, I could put the battery back behind the seat, but on this one, uh, there's too much too much power needed to turn that starter over. So you got to have it close, or if you went with big battery cable, it might work. Anyway, that's comments of the day.
Well, our tachometer is reading 